All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to John, JJ, and Asteroid Fight Club, I am now only $500 away from hitting my December Thor News fundraiser goal to keep Thor News up and running. So, if you'd like to contribute, kick in an end-of-the-year bonus for me, it would be greatly appreciated, and I will do my best to continue to bring you excellent information. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. The James Webb Space Telescope is about to launch. And that means this meme, Mimi, I created in 2014 is about to become irrelevant? Question mark. Yes, back in 2014, I was making fun of how the James Webb Space Telescope always wanted more time and more money. And here we are at the ass end of 2021, and in less than 24 hours, the most expensive and biggest telescope for space NASA's ever created is about to launch. And I want everyone to know that I wish the absolute best for the telescope, because God knows we need another one. We've only really had the Hubble, and that has been around since 1995. And so the James Webb Space Telescope, was they begun it, started to create it in 1996, around the same time the PlayStation 1 came out. We're now on the PlayStation 5, and we're still on the very first space telescope, the Hubble. So it is definitely time, especially by Moore's Law, for a second, a third, a fourth, and a fifth, and a sixth space telescope. Anyway, so you can see here, it was originally called the Next Generation Space Telescope, but eight years later, uh, they decided to change the name of it. And then there was some, uh, they found out some stuff about the guy who this was named after, and then they had to decide, like, do we still want to name it after him, even though he's not perfect? And they said, sure. Anywho, so they tried to cancel it in 2011, and now here we are in 2021, and astronomy Twitter is up in arms and a little nervous about the launch of this, the telescope itself, which will be tomorrow at 7.20 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, I'm not too worried about the launch itself, as I was a couple years ago, because we've gotten so good at sending rockets into space, not only uh, ULA and the ESA and SpaceX and China and Japan, and man, they've been firing up rockets left and right all of 2021, so I'm feeling pretty good about the launch. What I am concerned about and have always been concerned about is... It is going to take this telescope six or seven months to completely unfold its origami self. That's right. It's got like 70 parts, which it has to unfold over a six to seven month span. And so each of these 60 or 70 parts will have to unfold without any problems whatsoever in outer space at the Lagrange 2 point. For it to be fully functional. And so remember, we put like 25 years and over $15 billion into this thing. So a lot is riding on it. And can I tell you a story? All right. Back in 2018, uh, way before I got super shadow banned and stuff, I actually got invited to the NASA Houston Super Bowl media thing event they had. And they took you around, and you got to talk to every single group. You got to talk to, like, International Space Station people. You got to talk to, like, Deep Subsea people. You got to talk to, like, the Rocket people. You got to talk to pretty much every single NASA group, which was really great and fantastic. And so at one point, we were talking to all the head guys of the James Webb Space Telescope program. And I swear at one point... It was like I got pushed to the very front of about 100 people, and then this, the group split like the sea. So it was just like me standing across from all the um, James Webb Space Telescope scientists. And it was like everybody was looking at me like, hey, you're the guy who talks about it. Say something. So I said, okay, so what is going to happen if it doesn't work? And I swear... All the oxygen just got sucked out of the room, uh, and everybody was speechless. And they were like, uh, 
it's got to work. Man, it's got to work. And I could feel then, and that was when I stopped making fun of it, because a lot of people have worked on it really hard and really want it to work. And if it does work, it will be an infrared telescope that will allow us to see a lot of things, and it'll do a lot of spectacular science. And so, you know, I really do hope it works, because, you know, you've heard me rail about how, A, I was mad we gave up the, the space shuttle, and B... I was saying years ago we should give like the top four space programs like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, SpaceX, um, ULA, give them all each a billion dollars and have them build their own dang telescope. Uh, You know, you can have more than one telescope. You can have 50 telescopes if you want in space. You know, if you really want to do a lot of space science. Anyway, so it has been a wild journey, not only for everyone involved, but even for me personally at Thor News. Um, and so I hope it works, but it will take from launch to it fully unfolding. It'll take six months before we know, or as Eric Berger says, forget seven minutes of terror. You know, the phrase when they dropped the drone onto Mars, this is seven months of terror was talking to an early Northrop manager who worked on web. And he said he was so nervous about this that he tries not to think about it. And um, so that was the that was kind of the mood I got from 2018 that like all the eggs have been put in this basket. And, you know, I was turned on to this project by a someone who worked at NASA and had worked there in the solar division for under five presidents and talked about how this program, a lot of programs, good programs got canceled because the money had to go into the James Webb Space Telescope. And so tons of eggs have been put into this basket. And so, you know, fingers are crossed and I got nothing, but I hope it works. Because if it doesn't, that'll be another, another, uh, I don't know, they'll come for NASA. And then so what we have is a National Space Program will probably be turned over more to the, the super duper rich billionaires and trillionaires to promote crypto and shit. You know what I'm saying? But... So it is going to be definitely interesting. This will be happening tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. 20 Texas time. And it will be fascinating. Everybody, a lot of people are paying attention to it, as will I be. And so definitely stay tuned, stay cool. And it is a little surreal that the telescope that has led to like 25 years of scientific hyperbole will finally be there. Uh, up in space and we'll see if it works but that will write the story of the earliest days of the universe you yeah, they just been saying the crap like that for a long time and it goes back to you know if we really want to accomplish things in outer space you're gonna have to do it as a team and not just as an american team but as a global team either that or we're gonna turn the entire future over to the billionaires and trillionaires and John F. Kennedy before he was assassinated even mentioned it that like if the public populace doesn't support their public space programs uh, the military industrial complex and the you know the money complex will take it over and reap all the rewards and so yeah I hope everyone has a very wonderful Christmas and I hope it works but we won't know just after it launches. It'll take about seven months for the whole thing to unfold. So everybody stay cool. And I'll keep coming back at you with updates. And I hope you have a super duper very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday and a wonderful New Year. And sure, absolutely. Um, if you'd like to make a contribution to Thor News, it would be greatly appreciated. Especially if you watched over 100 videos and never contributed and do have some extra. I would appreciate an end of the year bonus. Everybody stay cool. I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. And have a very, very Merry Christmas. God bless everyone. And thank you, John and JJ and all of Astro Fight Club. Y'all are incredible. What a wild ride it has been. It's weird to think I'm about to have to retire my um, cynical memes after, what, seven years later? All right. Stay cool.